Following breaking news this morning as wildfires continue to burn through the Texas Panhandle. Yeah, you can see just how massive these flames are. Texas Governor Greg Abbott declaring a state of emergency in Texas as crews work to gain control of these flames. Mm -hmm. Our Chris Odigy is in our breaking news center with the latest overnight. And Chris, we know one of those fires is burning close to a nuclear weapons facility. Yeah, Cleo, that's why we are going to be keeping a close eye on the panhandle all throughout the morning because a few different wildfires really tearing through the region, forcing evacuations, keeping firefighters up all night. Take a look at this video from the air over Amarillo. Some of these fires sparked on Monday, but strong winds and dry conditions caused them to spread very quickly on Tuesday some of the fire even crossing the state line into Oklahoma. The largest of the fires is being called the Smokehouse Creek Fire. It started near the town of Stennett, Texas, now burned 300,000 acres, still 0% containment, according to the last update from the Texas A&M Forest Service. Several towns evacuated. That included a nuclear weapons facility just outside of Amarillo. It had to shut down, but we did get an update this morning that that facility will be reopened and workers will report for duty this morning. Governor Greg Abbott did declare a disaster declaration for 60 counties all across the state, not just the panhandle, but overnight firefighters work to try and establish containment lines, really try to prioritize structures in these fires. They're trying to make sure that no homes go down in these flames. Now we will be updating you throughout the morning on the latest information that we get into our newsroom from the panhandle. But right now I'm going to chat with Marielle Ruiz because Marielle, we've been talking about this very warm February and that is a contributing factor to these fires. Unfortunately, and we have been talking about fire danger here locally in North Texas along our western counties. Well, that actually also extended into the panhandle and for obvious reasons, it was very warm there. 75 plus with temperatures that's running about 20 to 25 degrees warmer than their normal low humidity at less than 20% less than 30% makes it uh, really possible for these fires to start the breezy conditions areas in Amarillo picking up about 65 plus mile power wind speeds and of course the dormant vegetation. I'm going to take you in though and take you in a closer look at just how widespread these fires are and like Chris mentioned the Smokehouse Creek fire that is 0% contained as of last check now the fifth largest wildfire in Texas history that smoke plume can continues to dig towards the south with our northerly winds. But look at what happens to that smoke plume here Wednesday night into Thursday. We'll start to see that impacting other regions. Satellite imagery here. This is the cold front that we had come through yesterday. That's approaching that fire. That's what made it so difficult to fight the fires yesterday, not just the warmth, but also the high winds from that. That wind eventually shifting. We'll be watching air quality issues across the panhandle for several days to come. Cleo. All right, Marielle, thank you.